50 years ago, history was made when a young newspaper man by the name of Rupert Murdoch published our country's first national daily newspaper, The Australian. And in the half century, century since, the paper has covered some of the momentous moments in history, from the Whitlam dismissal to the death of Princess Diana and September 11. To mark the occasion, editor-at-large Paul Kelly travelled to New York to interview Mr Murdoch, and I'm pleased to say he's back and he joins us now. And did you find Rupert in fine fettle? Was he uh, glorifying and revelling in the, the, the hard days of the Oz? He was in good form, mm -hmm. and of course he liked very much the idea of reminiscing about 50 years of the paper, talked quite a lot about the launch of the paper, the foundation of the paper. This was very much an example of Rupert Murdoch's personal vision. And of course he revealed during the course of the interview that this had been a vision and a dream of his father. So, it's, so it was very much a family aspiration. It, it took a lot of uh, willpower to persist with it too, because it didn't uh, set the world on fire initially, did it? Well, the interesting thing about The Australian was that people had talked about the idea of a national paper for a long period of time and everyone said, you can't do it. The tyranny of distance in Australia is too great. It's simply impossible. The newspaper industry was all state-based uh, mastheads and Murdoch came in and said, no, we're going to change that. We're going to launch a different sort of paper, not just a national paper, but a paper that can shake up the country. He was very dissatisfied with the country back in 1964, the twilight of the Menzian age, and Rupert came in and said, we want to shake up the joint. And how did he do that? Well, he did that essentially by producing a very different sort of paper, a writer's paper, going out and hiring a lot of very interesting people and then challenging the status quo. This was right towards the end of Sir Robert Menzies' time. Uh, I think 1964, if you look back on it, was the perfect time to launch the paper because there was a groundswell of change. The baby boomers are starting to come through and people are saying, we've got to change this country, and Murdoch tapped into that mood. It, it's, it was true back then, it seems to still be true, Paul, uh, that, uh, that writers on The Australian are given uh, the space and the freedom to express themselves. And although, of course, uh, there's a financial imperative with every enterprise, the Australian seems to be freed of, um, of uh, budget constraints in the sense that it's going to keep going, it's Rupert's baby, and we will plough on regardless. Is, is that a correct summation? Well, I think that's right. I mean, the brand, the Australian, will be here forever. Mm -hmm. We've invested in it for 50 years. I think the brand is now very, very strong. It's a paper committed to ideas. It's a, it's a paper looking at the future of the country. It has a strong agenda. It has a vision for the country. The paper doesn't belong to either the Labor Party or the Liberal Party. And Rupert Murdoch has been very, very firm on this, and this is the history of the paper. We have our own vision for the country, and we assess Labor and Liberal according to our vision. Where is the Australian, and I guess uh, the newspaper industry in general, headed, do you think? Did Rupert express any thoughts about where, where the Oz might be in the next 50 years? Well, uh, Rupert is very confident about the future of the industry. We've invested a lot in newspapers worldwide around the globe so we are confident we're optimistic about uh, about the future of course we are also looking at different platforms we have got a very uh, substantial digital strategy so the essential approach on the part of the paper is our brand is going to be here for the long term our brand is going to be here forever and we are looking at different ways, different ways of fulfilling the mission and different platforms. It's $2.20, um, the edition on uh, Thursday's edition we've got here. Um, it was fourpence back fourpence, in the day. Fourpence, exactly. Can, can you give us a look at uh, Yes, I've, got, I've bought the first issue of the paper here with me um, from the, from the uh, 15th of July, 1964. Uh, we've got a political story on page one about tensions inside the coalition between the country party and the Liberal Party and the price is fourpence. It's a busy paper. I showed this paper to Rupert when I went to the United States to interview him. He picked up the paper, looked at it and said, I remember it well. I remember putting, putting that paper together very well on the opening night. How long after this did Paul Kelly start to appear in the pages? Uh, well, I joined the paper in 1971. OK. All right. That's a, a long history. It's a, a long history. time ago. Yes, it is. Thank you very much for that, Paul. Great to Thank reminisce and, uh, and to look forward to the future. Tim?